Arsch geht's. Hello, we're Tom and Don, two young fellows who used to make YouTube cartoons, but now we're on a holy quest to get a cartoon TV show of our very own. A show quest, get it? Now, you see me say goodbye to my mates, and I'm gonna say goodbye to my parents, but there's one special thing that I want to say goodbye to, and I haven't yet, and that my friends, is Albion. Holy fucking shit, which has turned into fucking Skyrim. There's just so much to love about England. Fuck you now. I even like the weather. I think the reason the British have been so good at comedy. <laughs> Fuck off. Yours truly included, of course. Luigi! Is because it's so fucking miserable weather-wise. Like, I think that almost oppressive, low-hanging grey cloud has really shaped us as a people. So I do feel a little bit guilty because I feel like I'm abandoning Blighty a little bit. I feel a bit like Bilbo. I've always grown up in these <laughs> tiny little villages and I'm going on kind of this grand adventure to places unknown. It's gonna be fucking dope. Last night in England, I thought, what's the most English thing I can do? And the answer is, go down to local for some drinks with my old man. I'm just introducing Tom to his last pint of proper English bitter. None of this namby-pamby maiden's water that the Yanks insist on drinking. Tell him, Dad, get him. Proper beer. Cellar <laughs> temperature. In it, nice and warm. No, cellar temperature. None of this refreshing cold bollocks, am I right? With alcohol in it. <laughs> Sing for me, Father. But you then had the... Sing um... for me, Father. Father, sing for me. Oh, dear God. <laughs> With my voice. You want to break your recording equipment? A beautiful symphony of Britishness. And was Jerusalem builded here among those dark satanic mills? Then the music rises to a crescendo. <laughs> Oh dear God. That was the crescendo. <laughs> Bring me my bowl of burning gold. Bring me my arrows of desire. Bring me my spear, all oh, clouds unfold. Bring me my chariots of fire. I will not cease. From men to fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land. Few minutes left before I have to go get Tom. Turn, turn off the vacuum, Lexi. God, God damn. Stop vacuuming. Stop. Why? Stop, because you can't, you can't hear me. All right, so we've done fucking everything. Everything is cleared out. The office is basically beautiful. Only one thing left to do. I got the newspaper. I got, I got the tape. Ten minutes before we have to go to the airport, we have to repaint this room. This is my sister's room growing up, and it's very, very girly. And we can't have that, so we gotta, we gotta do something about it. I had to rent a big fucking car for all of his. Sh it's also gonna be great for not getting blown off the fucking road, cause we got 50, 60 mile per hour winds today in Maryland. Wish us luck. Way. Probably. 
Adam, no. Please. No. <laughs> Don, I, I made an amazing discovery on the plane. It's this thing called Coca-Cola, and it tastes like sugar and water at the same time. What's it called? Coca-Cola. I made it to America with my best bud Don and his harlot girlfriend. Yeah, she's no fun. <laughs> I, I don't have what? anything else. That was my whole song. Yeah, it was a bad. Thanks very much. Yeah, it's alright. Thank you. I made this song. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate the effort. Did you record it? Oh, what is this set up for the, for the room? Oh, Don, you shouldn't have. Wank tissues. Thanks, man. Come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Whose mouth is that? It's clearly the Queen. Oh, is it? Oh, Liz. Man, you're gonna give me a bar from the UK. I found something, Don. What's that? My courage. Hey. Spacious. Is this me? Is this King Don? <laughs> <laughs> and this is me. <laughs> Thanks, man. Is that? Is that, is that? is that my f***ing desk? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Have I not? I can't live like this! You've got, you've got a desk, haven't you? You've got a chair? Is that what you were doing downstairs? <laughs> Get some scissors and help me set this thing up, you f***ing cunt. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm literally attached to Don's f***ing desk like a tumour. <laughs> I've got like this. Hooked up to this and then wires like running all the way from here to Don's like it's a f***ing mess I need you to shoot something immediately. Mm. Man, take the, take the f***ing... When we first started this enterprise, you promised that you would afford me living space. You said half of the office down the middle was mine, and this was yours. Well, I've made observance, and... Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Seems you are encroaching on my living space. And I must demand, henceforth, you get rid of your f***ing oversized f***ing desk. <laughs> because it's on my side of the office, and I don't like it. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I can't afford, I can't afford a new desk. Okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> We're done here. We're done. Right. I, I guess, okay. last. You and I. Oh, what shall we do to pass the time? So young Donald has gone to his girlfriend's and I've been keeping a secret from him. I actually got him a new desk. This thing is a piece of f and he's had this desk since he was like a f***ing teenager and I wanted to do something nice for Don because he's kind of invited me into his home, he's sharing his office with me, so I got him a new desk. And I'm going to set it up. Finishing mother such. Ron's little work board. And voila! <laughs> the 
That looks way worse. I didn't exactly dissemble his other desk in the most mannered fashion. <laughs> so he's kind of stuck with this. He might actually be upset with me. Hey, click on top of the little bell thing and you'll get a special notification when we post the next show quest on Saturday. We can all tune in and see just how mad Don gets. Hey, yay. I may have really genuinely f***ed up, so uh, 